The geometry file you were given should have its coordinate system located just like the one here. In the center of the support hole on the back face of the crank. It is possible, however, that your geometry file, either in this project or in a later project, will have a coordinate system that isn't very convenient for defining things such as paths. In that case, what we need to do is define a new coordinate system from which it is easy to measure our path distances. In that case, we need to come over here to coordinate systems. Right now we see that all we have is the global coordinate system, which is the one centered on the support hole. In order to insert a new coordinate system, we come up here and click on Create Coordinate System. This adds our new coordinate system to the Coordinate Systems tab in the Outline window. It automatically selects Geometry Selection, which is the option that we're going to use. Up at the top, select Edge as our selection tool. Come over to our geometry, zoom in, and we're going to click on the edge of the support hole on the front face of the crank, since the front face is where we're going to be drawing our paths. Come over to the Details of Coordinate System window and apply that edge. We now see that our new coordinate system uh, is located in the center of the support hole on the front face. And it's defined here by its coordinates in terms of the global coordinate system x of 0, y of 0, z of 0.375, which is the thickness of our crank. This is helpful because regardless of where the global coordinate system was, we would now have a coordinate system that we could use very easily. Right clicking on model, we want to insert a construction geometry now. Right clicking on construction geometry, we want to insert a path. And now, in order to use the new coordinate system we created in order to define our path, we just slide down under Start, where it says Coordinate System. We'll select our new coordinate system, which it, by default is just named Coordinate System. Notice that the point 1 has now moved to the origin of our new coordinate system on the front face of the crank. Sliding down to End, we'll also select our new coordinate system here. Notice that point 2 and point 1 are both centered at the origin on the front of the crank. Defining our path now, we could use a z-coordinate of 0 instead of 0.375. x and y-coordinates would still be the same.